the main basis of the question is, in extreme heat and cold, I break out. I have these rashes. That Got come it. On. Okay. And it's starting to get really hot now, so it's oh, yeah, starting to break out on my arm. And now, because I scratch it and scratch other touch other places, right. it's spreading all over. Okay. All right. You, you want me to address that right now? We're in Georgia, are yeah. you? Where do you live in Georgia? In Georgia, I'm in uh, out east, like 20 minutes outside the uh, city. Outside Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So it must be hotter than it must be ridiculously hot and humid out there now, right? Yeah, it's just, the humidity is not too bad, but it just it does get hot. All right, here's the thing. It's with... over uh, 80, 90, and it's like, yeah. Oh, my God. That's miserable. You lived there all your life? No, I just moved here three years ago. From New York, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did I know that, Don? <laughs> How could I tell? I don't know. I don't know. You do know that, so. that a good All right. Guess. Here's the deal. Uh, the skin, when skin, skin cells, there's skin itself, skin cells and all the immune cells in the skin are very, very, un, are, are hanging on a razor's edge. They are very, very... Uh, tightly regulated. The growth of it is tightly regulated, so they're destabilized very readily. It doesn't take much to destabilize the growth of cells and to activate the immune system in the skin. The skin is a defensive system, so it's kind of very tightly wound. Does that make sense how I'm saying that? It's very tightly wound, and it just takes a little flick to throw it off. Uh, When it's really cold or when it's really hot, or when it's really humid, those can all function as a little click that can throw off the chemistry of the skin, especially under conditions of nutritional deficiency. So when there's nutrients missing, the skin is very readily destabilized. The growth of the skin cells and the immune system under conditions of nutritional deficiency, especially deficiencies in fats and fatty vitamins. Mm. So when you have skin rashes, unexplained skin rashes, or, or if they're related to the weather, or if you have eczema or you have psoriasis, these are also skin, uh, destabilization symptoms. You, you want to focus on, number one, intake of fats and fatty vitamins and also absorption of fats and fatty vitamins. You say, well, how do I know if I have an absorption problem? That's why we have this, this uh, we always re- we're always returning to the digestive system and the blood sugar system. How do you know? You look for bowel movement problems. You look for gas. You look for bloating or heartburn or nausea or discomfort in any way along the digestive tract, and that's an indicator of any problems that you're having in digestion and in absorption. Now, fat malabsorption is extremely common, so it's a pretty good chance, especially if you have skin rashes, the odds are really, really good that you're having a problem absorbing fats and or both either one, uh, you're definitely having a problem or, or you're probably having an issue with absorption, but you could also be having a problem with intake. You may not be getting them or you may not be absorbing okay. them. So what, so what do you do? Step number one oh, is, right. you look to, is you look to foods that are causing a problem. Gas, bloating, all those things I talked about, you connect them up with foods and then you eliminate those foods. That's always step number one. Step number two is start to give yourself the nutrients that help improve the body's, the digestive system's ability to absorb these things and probiotics are chief among those. That means the bioluminightly essence, three in the morning, three at night, look into the beyond organic products as well because those have got ferment, a bacteria in there as well and eat fermented food. Get a book called The Joy of Fermenting, get another book called Wild Fermentation. You can make your own fermented foods. They're easy to do. You can uh, buy sauerkraut or miso or tempeh, eat lots of fermented foods. Then you want to, uh, uh, Z-Radical, I forgot to say that to Sean, the Z-Radical is also very helpful for digestive system problems. So using the Z-Radical can help. Digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes, less than all the things we talk about for the digestive system. Then you want to make sure you're getting enough uh, fats, essential fatty acids, as well as fatty vitamins. Get on the ultimate EFAs, take nine of them a day, or you can take up to 18 a day. Personally, if it was me, I would be taking 18. Uh, you can't really overdose on them and because you're already, you're already showing, it's showing symptoms and your body's already starting to break down. It's probably best that you take more rather than less. Then you want to make right. sure you're getting your fatty vitamins. 20,000 international units a day of vitamin A, very important for the skin. Vitamin A is one of the most important skin vitamins. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, I'm doing these videos with my friend Amanda Rideout, and we're talking about skin and skin health. And uh, we're actually going to be talking about, we've been talking about vitamin A for the skin, topical vitamin A, but internally it's also important. Vitamin E is also helpful. I'd be doing 400 international units international units of vitamin E, and then if you want to supplement with vitamin D, that might help you, but probably the best way to get your vitamin D is from the sun, and also from vitamin D-containing foods, which are like liver and organ meats, as well as uh, 
dairy products. Actually, dairy products have the wrong kind of vitamin D, but liver and organ meats will work for uh, vitamin D, getting your vitamin D. Vitamin D is only found in animal products, by the way. Uh, getting, your, getting your vitamin D from uh, liver and organ meats if you're, not, if you're a meat eater. But the sun is your best place to get vitamin D. So number one, work on the digestive system. Use digestive support. Number two, eliminate problem foods. And number three, make sure you're getting your fatty nutrients. If you want to throw a couple, uh, a couple other things in, you might want to throw in some zinc, 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. And then topically, just if you want some relief, and this isn't going to help, this isn't going to cure anything, but this will help you with the symptoms because you don't want to be scratching. That's going to mess things right. up. So if, if you want some instant relief, use something called Benecort cream, B-E-N-E-C-O-R-T. Now, that's a medication. That's a drug. You get it at the pharmacy, and you get it over the counter, but it's still considered an over-the-counter medication. Uh, it contains Benadryl, which is an antihistamine, which will uh, quiet down the immune response topically, and cortisol, which is an immune suppressant, again, topical immune suppressant. I don't like those, but if you're absolutely miserable and you're scratching, the Benacort might be a better strategy. Uh, it's going to be better than scratching, for sure, as bad as it is. Does that help you, Don? That does. And what's going on? The other question was, what's going on with the um, the One World Way? I see that they changed yeah, the Yeah, that's label. a problem. Did they change the label on it? You know, One World Way, my friend Stephen Ewer, great guy, great nutritionist, really wants to help people. He was getting misled by the people who, was make, who were making his One World Way. Uh, and I don't know the story behind it, but there were some labeling issues, and I think he's changed the label on that. He's a great guy. I can't speak to the product yet because I haven't looked into it. Uh, so I wouldn't blame Stephen on that, but that's, that's the story of the labeling. Got to go, Don. I appreciate your call. God bless. Bro, hope I helped you out. If I left you on hold, I apologize. That's why I say call first. Call in during the first segment and call early so I can get to as many calls as possible. We'll talk more about uh, chia seeds as well as uh, the next amino acid in our amino acid story, arginine, on our next Bright Side episode. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, six vegetable, and black bean olive. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or Call 541-229-0010 and order today. Eat them every day. Take them camping or save them for an emergency. Check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in Oregon by Oregon Trail Food.